Can apps or monitoring tools actually help protect children online? That's tonight's focus in our week-long special reports on keeping your child cyber safe. News 8's Jocelyn Maminta looks into how effective it is to install those safety features. Kids with smartphones, stressful for Carrie Switek Setter, a Connecticut mom of three. Them sharing photos or, you know, intimate details about themselves, like where they live and their friends. It's stories like this that worry parents like Carrie. This sixth grade Arizona teacher is accused of a sexual tryst with a student in her class. His parents discovering what was allegedly going on via a safety app on their son's phone. Apps and websites and other kinds of tools that parents use to help protect their kids online work to an extent. Dr. Michael Robb is director of research at Common Sense Media on the company's website. This is a listing of kids' safe browsers and search sites. For kids and parents. Basically, they create like a sandbox so that kids can't get out of them. In this challenging digital age. Would you recommend her some simple things like, you know, you can do spot checks of your kids' phones? Certainly, I would if you're going to install and use an app, and like I said, there are some good products out there to just make sure your kid is aware of what you're doing. Dr. Rob says explain why and how it will be used, or parents run the risk of breaking down that trust built up over the years. In fact, there is some evidence that parents who use these kinds of monitoring tools have kids who have resentful feelings um, about their parents and their use of these tools. What type of filters should they look into? How easy is it for me to install? How easy is it for me to actually, you know, pull up a screen and, and see what's going on? And consider the levels offered. Is it something that just allows me to turn the internet off at 9 o'clock every night? Is it something that allows me to um, block certain websites? Most devices come with parental controls embedded in them. Still, Dr. Rob says the best parental control is you. The ultimate goal for a parent is helping to develop a responsible digital citizen who can act safely online and regulate themselves. Carrie did just that by talking to her kids without installing restraints. I think d doing both in hindsight might have been a better option. There were some photos shared at one point and with my first and um, I definitely had to put the reins on a little bit more but then you know still had a conversation about it. You know, the kids will always eventually figure out a way to be an app but that internal voice that you're helping them to develop will remain. Dr. Rob says also key to keeping your kids safe online is to pull back on some of the apps and controls as they get better in regulating their own media use. That level of trust he says will likely lead them to come to you if something questionable does happen. Jocelyn Mementa, News 8.